the Western New York Flash. So I had an interview in December of my sophomore year, and that was for an unpaid internship. The person that I interviewed with left the company, so they went to Orlando. Then there were like three months where I just had no idea what was going on, so I shot an email over and redirected me to Rich Randall, and then Rich Randall set up an interview. And, uh, I had an interview like in a hotel room on three hours notice um, with The Flash for an unpaid internship. And the position hadn't been filled yet, the actual communications manager. So I was pretty much interviewing with like the GM and the ticket person. So that was a little bit weird. Eventually I got a boss, I got hired on. Um, after a couple of months, probably like two or three months, um, in mid-June, mid my boss left for a job with the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, her name was Kylie. She was a graphic design person and I was more of like a writing person. So it kind of worked out where like I was running graphic design and she was quickly learning all the writing stuff. Um, when she left, there was like two weeks where nobody really knew what was going on. And then that's kind of where like I took over because I was like, the only one in that small organization with like, I don't know, let's say seven people that knew anything about communications. So in those two weeks, we had like a game, did very well for the game. Numbers were off the charts for whatever reason. It was in the middle of that Pokemon Go thing. So I kind of, you know, plugged that a little bit with our graphics and all that. Um, and then at the end of the two weeks, they were just kind of like, hey, would you like to be full-time? So from there, I uh, worked with the team through the rest of June and July. We had an Olympic break, so I was kind of like the team liaison with the Flash uh, for the Rio Olympics. And then traveling with the team around the country to everywhere from Boston to Washington to um, Houston, Texas. Uh, we made the championship in Houston, so I was down there for a week. I didn't miss a bunch of school. That was pretty fun. Um, so I've been with them for the better portion of... Uh, Probably two years now. Yeah, about two years. The, oh, so working, so we had a pro team, um, but we also had an academy. They basically sold the team last January. And I had to handle the sale, which was also pretty much everything that I learned with the Flash was just like very new. I had to teach myself how to do it, draw from other things. So like, for instance, I drew from like a press release when I don't even know what team, maybe the Atlanta Thrashers was sold, something like that. Um, so kind of drew from what they did, made it our own, all that stuff, and then we transitioned over to more of the academy stuff. So I've been working with the academy, and we've been pushing that, and it's actually been pretty, it's a lot different because it's not one team, and it's not a professional team where you have like professional players and nationally known people. It's, you know, we grew from... Uh, it started as six teams, then we went to, I think when, I think when we sold the team, the pro team, we had around 15 girls teams, and now we have over 30 girls teams, plus an entire boys side with about 15 teams, so we're up to like 46 teams or so. So it's been like a weird transition, but it's been kind of nice to um, experience it, and like, you know, we've been slowly, slowly building what we have now. So the girls, uh, I got my start in the ticket office. Uh, August 2015 and um, that was in the ticket office so I kind of did a lot of like ticket stuff, customer service, all that stuff and eventually got um, moved into the whole season so I worked the entire 2015 season um, <coughs> which was the first year of Rex Ryan. Going into the second year of Rex which was 2016 uh, we kind of figured out like that was right around when I was going and starting with the flash. Um, we kind of figured out like I kind of want to do more of communications than tickets. So I talked to my boss and we were just kind of like hanging out and he was like, yeah, what do you want to, what's your goal in this profession? I'm like, I don't think it's tickets. And he was like, I don't think it is either. So then he kind of like, you know, um, sent my resume and stuff along to Kevin Kearns in the PR department. Kevin sets up an interview and uh, for the 2016 season I was kind of a game day quote team intern, which I was that for like a month. But then by the time that the flash season ended, they kind of moved me into a role where I was in on game days plus Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, um, doing a whole plethora of activities. And then that went throughout the season. Um, and then by about week 16, the Browns team, I was pretty much a full-time intern there all the time. And I kept that role through this past February. So doing everything from, and it was a, it, it was another very like unique experience because I went through two, two organizations in a sense. From GM to head coach changed to my boss changed. Like we we went from Scott Burstall to Derek Boyko, and all that was a very overwhelming experience because he completely brought a new approach as opposed to Scott's 1980s and 1990s approach. So um, 
yeah, I mean, absolutely amazing experience with those. And I would fight it on the NFL, um, in a sense, you know, probably about 10 teams or so. And, you know, we're still going through the process of that. But a couple of teams that I've interviewed with include Atlanta, Green Bay, Los Angeles Rams, um, the Houston Texans. I had an interview with the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle later this month. Um, and then, like, I've even ventured outside the NFL a little bit. So I have an interview today with the uh, Big 12 Conference uh, in the second round. So I've kind of used everything that I've learned in college, and hopefully I'm going to put that towards something moving elsewhere. And uh, hopefully I need to, need to get something first. I need to get offered something first, but we'll see.